whip picking and issuing comes to CISPRO in 2024. Warehouse management has provided an opportunity to streamline and enhance the processes and operations around work in progress. Whip picking and issuing provides the opportunity to use the same functionality as we apply to picking stock and fulfilling orders. This feature allows the allocation of stock when it is required at the time of generating the picking slip, fully integrated with missions and tasks to allow for the picking of stock to be completed via handhelds in Espresso directing the picker to the specific location and selecting the relevant lots and serial numbers. Once each pick has been completed, the stock picked can then be automatically issued to the job rather than waiting for it to be issued at a later stage. To enable and use WIP picking, we need to have fixed bins and multiple bins switched on. We can then interface or integrate whip picking with missions and tasks by enabling this option here. And then against the warehouses, we will enable whip picking on each of the relevant warehouses where picking is required. And there are two options in here. We've got the whip picking cycling use, which is can be switched on or off. And then you've got the auto issuing of stock to the job on completion of a pick. So that would be switched on here. Further to this configuration, under structures and routines, we can specify the destination bin against the operation. It's not mandatory um, because the destination bin can be set during the pick creation, but against the operation, we are able to specify the destination bin, which is the production bin here. Jobs are created in the standard way. To generate a pick for, for a job, the job needs to have been confirmed. Then within pick review, we can go in and we can see the list of jobs where we've got stock codes that have not had a pick raised for them yet. And this will only return those warehouses where picking has been enabled. And what we're doing here is we would then select the relevant um, the relevant uh, components of that job and we would click on the create pick option and in here we can create a new pick or we can add to an existing pick and that add into an existing pick is to to put it onto a pick where the destination is is the same because the destination bin has been set against the against the operation the destination is already set here and we are unable to change that and down at the bottom, we've got options to specify that we want to print a picking list and that um, we want to uh, create a, a mission for this pick. So we will go ahead and create that pick. And it is at this stage now where we specify the allocation of stock to the, to the pick. So we'll go down and we'll select a relevant location. Add it and that's then completed our allocation for that job and it tells us that pick 24 has been created and we can now see that pick within pick maintenance so we'll come into into whip pick maintenance and we shall select the pick that we've just created and that tells us the job the stock code the bins that have been allocated um, and it should also tell us the destination bin as well and within pick maintenance, we will click on the status and that sets it to started. <clears throat> if we're not going to be using Espresso and, and missions and tasks to, um, to navigate the pick, then we are able to print off the, the pick note and we can complete the pick in here. So we would highlight the relevant lines. and we'll click on complete. It tells us that a journal has been created. And if we click on the, on the job and just query the job, so we can now see that those, uh, that quantity of 10 has been issued to that job. And then let's take a look how, how this looks within 
missions and tasks. So we'll go and look at our missions and task review. And we'll bring back our outstanding tasks in here. And if we go down to the bottom, we can see that we've got a mission here. I created another pick, which is pick 25, which is for the next line on that next component on that job. And we can see um, the details and we can go into the into the pick from from here as well. The whip picking feature has been designed and built to drive increases in efficiency with an emphasis on directing the pickers to the various locations rather than searching for stock and ensuring the correct lots and serial numbers are consumed, which enforces traceability. Added to this is the issuing of stock, which not only increases efficiency, but aids real-time visibility of stock levels, consuming the stock as it is used.